Hey there, so just the other day, my main TikTok account with uh, 175,000 followers got shut down, canceled, banned, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's a bummer, but uh, of course I didn't really wallow in pity or, or complain about it too much. I did start an appeal. We'll see what happens. We'll see if I get that account back, but the most important thing I did is I jumped back on the horse and I started working with a new TikTok account. Uh, really what I decided is um, I needed to shift and change up my strategy a little bit, most specifically with the CTAs or the call to actions. And that's what I'm gonna share with you in this video. But the good news is, is I can tell you that I'm getting almost as much reach on a lot of my videos with my new uh, account here or my newer account here as I was with my older account. Uh, so there's still plenty of potential to start uh, on TikTok uh, as uh, you know a beginner and still get plenty of reach. So th this, this train is still rolling strong. Um, so what I did is I shifted my call to action strategy a little bit, and uh, I think it's working out a lot better for a lot of reasons here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually pull up my TikTok, and I'm going to put it up on screen here so you all can see what's going on. Uh, so this is the uh, newer account. I am currently promoting my 90-minute affiliate challenge on here, which is my 100% free affiliate marketing course. Um, but what I'm doing differently is instead of asking people to click the link in my bio as my call to action, I'm actually using the terminology, go ahead and check out the comments to learn more about an opportunity or to learn more about this affiliate marketing opportunity or to learn more about a free course that will give you the opportunity to learn this side hustle that's beginner friendly, right? I, I use it interchangeably. Uh, depending on, on the context of the video. But the important part that uh, I'm sharing with you today is that instead of clicking the link, I'm telling people to go over to the comments. And this is working well for a number of reasons. So here's my most recent TikTok. And I just uploaded it not too long ago. And you can see here, uh, my call to action is go ahead and check out the comments. And when people go over to check out the comments, I tell them what to do next. In this case, I say learn my six-figure side hustle for free. Link in bio. It's the 90-minute affiliate challenge. So there's a couple of things going on here. First, when I tell people um, to go check out the comments, um, this is, a little, first of all, a little bit different than, than what they're used to seeing. They're used to seeing people tell them to go check out the link in the bio, and they're becoming a little bit blind to that, perhaps. But when you tell them to check out the comments, that's like, okay, cool. I'll go see what's going on, because there's a little bit of, of curiosity there. What do they want me to do, right? And curiosity is huge in marketing. Uh, the other thing that's going on here is while they're reading the comment, right, this video is playing in the background and it actually is increasing the watch time of this particular TikTok, which I think will help the algorithm uh, recognize this as a valuable, valuable video and then push it out to more people. Um, so obviously when they go over here, this tells them what to do, then they can go to my bio and then they can go find my link or, or, or what have you, right? It's right there, boom. Um, the 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 cool thing about this is is I'm telling people there's an opportunity kind of hidden in the comments, and people really like that. People like to be uh, in on an opportunity, and for the most part, people hate being told what to do. So if you're telling them to go click the link, they're gonna be like, oh, I don't know, he's telling me what to do. I don't like that. People just don't like to be told what to do. But if you're showing them there's an opportunity hidden in the comments, they're gonna be more likely to go check it out and grab it, and that represents a micro commitment. And once we've had, we have them make that micro commitment, then they're going to be more likely to go ahead and make the next commitment, which is actually clicking over to the website and entering their email and, you know, getting into our funnel. There's another reason this is working very well, and that has to do with the other short form content platform. So for example, let's say we go over to Facebook now. You can see my kids have games on my phone. <laughs> um, so as we know, Facebook Reels are a newer opportunity. I've started posting Facebook Reels. You can see this is the exact same video that I'm uploading to TikTok. But luckily, since I don't have link in bio as my call to action, you can just re-upload it over to Facebook. And as you can see here, when people go over and click on my comments on my Facebook Reels, the cool thing here is they actually can find a clickable link in the comments. So that's pretty seamless. That gets them over to the funnel. Instagram. If you go over to Instagram, right? You tell them, hey, go check out the comments to see what's going on. Learn more about the opportunity. The comments are right there. Here's where you can tell them what to do next. And the cool thing about this is you can change this up if you want to test things. So for example, right now I'm telling people, DM me, direct message me, hot product to see how you can start today with my number one recommended partner. So now they're gonna be like, okay, cool. That's the opportunity. They can click on my bio. They can go ahead and send me a, a quick DM. But the other cool thing about this is let's say I want to test some things and I want to switch it up. 
Maybe I'm having a link there. Maybe I'm getting people uh, to, to DM me so I can start a conversation, but I don't know which one's going to work better for me based on my schedule, based on you know getting people to move over to the offer. So because I'm not saying click the link in the bio, you can actually change this comment. Like if, if two days down the road you say, actually, I want people to DM me instead of click the link in my bio, then you can change the comment and tell people to DM you. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to keep those old videos uh, congruent, right? Because you, all you did was tell them to go click over to the comments. So if you want to change your strategy, you can easily do that. If you said click the link in my bio in the video, you can't change it. So that, that video or that reel or whatever is not going to be as congruent. And that's going to get people tripped up a little bit. Uh, same thing is going on over on YouTube Shorts, right? Uploading the same videos here over to YouTube Shorts. Um, but there is no bio in YouTube, so that doesn't make any sense. But luckily, there is comments. So if you tell them to click over to the comments, they click over to the comments. Then what you can do is you can put your clickable link in the comments. And you can see here, I'm showing them how to get to my 100% free course, which opens up super simple, gets them over there. Uh, all you got to do there is just act, make sure you leave this comment and then hit these three dots and go ahead and pin that comment to the top. Now that comment's already pinned to the top. That way it's the first one that they see. So this is just a, a better way, I think, um, to, to leverage all the platforms and um, stay congruent across your campaigns. Plus you're getting some clickable links uh, in there on places like YouTube Shorts and Facebook Reels. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you do want to get into that free 90-minute affiliate challenge, I'll obviously go ahead and pin that link in the comments of this video, but you can also find it in the description below.